what's up y'all? It's your Barbara Girl T5 the Barbara and welcome back to another fade on the faded room. Here, as you can see, I have my client just sitting in the chair waiting to get that nice clean buttery taper going on. And that's exactly what we're about to give them. So let's just jump right into this. First, we're gonna take this hair down. The blade that I'm using on this detachable is a 1A. And this just gets a little the 1A just gets a little bit closer than the one. I mean um keeps it a little bit higher than the one but gets it close enough where it doesn't look so dark and as you guys can see later on you're gonna see how this taper just blends smoothly into the top of this hair and just give them a really nice buttery uh, taper we're just gonna keep moving around the head and just take it down all the way to this the only part that we're not gonna touch as you guys can see is the front because his front have a lot of couple of different issues and we got to tackle that a little bit differently and use different size blades to really get the look that we're going for for the front so I think that would be interesting I hope you guys stay tuned to see that part so here we just went in with our ball tape ball liners first and create that first guideline that we're going in with our clipper all the way closed to just give a good transition and here we are we're going in with our number one all the way open and creating our next guideline We're just gonna go ahead and gradually close the clipper halfway, blend this area, and then just move our lever back and forth just so we can blend this area out and give it a nice smooth transition from the bottom all the way to the top. His hair is such a different texture that you usually get certain clients where their hair grows in completely all different directions. So it's just up to you to blend it to where this hair look extremely blended and smooth. And this is one of those clients where his hair grows in different directions and it's very curly so it takes a little bit more work and effort to really go get into this and make sure you blend it in the right way. And here we are with the number one all the way close creating that next guideline and just we're just gonna go back in and blend this out with the masters no guard all the way open and just blend this area out like I told you guys in the last video that blade that I have is just this blade is just a little bit different to me it does a lot more work than just a regular blade um, and it's crazy because it's so hard to find these blades if you guys look up for it is you really can't find them anymore but um, as you guys can see it's just it just takes out enough hair that needs to be take, taken off but also doesn't really create any other guideline or anything like that and as you guys can see I'm using the corner of my blades just to make sure this we get these extra hairs that are going in completely all different directions but still making it look really faded in the back here really blended in the back and that's our goal some hair you just got to work harder than others and just figure it out on how to get this hair to look the way that you want it to look it's easy for this for you not to blend this hair completely in the back here um, if you honestly don't know what you're doing especially with his texture type of texture here and here we are we're just going in with a number one all the way open and taking off that lot that last dark area all the way on top and these guys as you guys can see this fade this paper right here in the back here is really coming out blended man it's you know I took my time make sure I take every single step this was a trust the process step from the start to the finish to make sure this hair come out looking like this now we're gonna move to the side and as you guys know we're going to do the same thing here on the sides go in first with our border ball liners and create that first guideline then we go back in with it with our clipper all the way close and create that next guideline now we're gonna go in with it all the way open and then we're just gonna come back in halfway blend that area out and move our lever back and forth and blend it out then we're gonna go with our number one all the way close not all the way up just enough to where we leave that little dark mark at the top that we could come back in and take down a little bit further but not make it so as light as we did the bottom are just going in and making sure this area is really blended again just take off those little straight dark areas that you guys see with the corner of the blade and just blend this area this is more so you know just just making sure you work and get the result that you're looking for certain cut they don't necessarily follow every you know 
every and that that's I feel like that's the beauty and the art side of barbering is knowing that not every cut follows the same direction and you don't have to just use every single step like you could go around and try to figure out how you could get to the the, the, the results that you're looking for at the last day we had moved to the number one all the way open just to get that dark area down and here this left side is going to go pretty fast because it's the same thing that we already done on the back and the right side so this left side is, as you guys know, it's going to go really fast. Like I was saying, you guys, it's like when, you, when you're when you a barber and you're doing it for a while, certain things, you know, you just start figuring it out. And then you realize there's, you know, there's levels in between those steps that you, you are doing already that, you know, when you get familiar with and when you've been doing it for a while, certain things just work out and you learn to trust the step, trust the process in, in a certain way. Um, and you get, you start getting the results that you're really looking for. So you guys just trust the process and and just try to pay attention enough when you're, bar, when you're cutting your client's hair to where you can find little things. You find little things out that when they come back next time, you know exactly how to get the results that they're looking for or how to get done what you wanted to that you probably missed that first time. I just want to say for you guys who are if you guys are just starting out just being you know starting out being barber just stay motivated you guys just stay extremely motivated and just know it's gonna work out in the long run. So here we are, we're actually working on the hairline and this guard that we have on top right now, that is a number 10. It's a dog, it's the dog grooming side, but it just gives you enough hair off. So this is a number 10 and then we first go in and take it down. As you guys can see, his right temple area and his, I mean his right um, side and his left side of his lineup as you guys can see, see it's a little bit thinner so we're trying not to touch that area and then now we're going back with the 1a just to bring it down just because um, we, we, we want it to blend a little bit more with the sides but also keeping it dark and as you guys can see I try not to touch those light areas that's you know on his head right there even though I'm going over I'm lightly touching on it I'm not touching it just because it's it's so much lighter and that's our goal is try to match those sides as as um, close as possible and here we are just you know going in with our liners the hair the skin is already prepped so you guys can see it's it's really nice and easy and uh, cleaner to give him his lineup because the hair is already prepped this is my first time using these detailers um, I'm trying to venture out into other clippers and detailers and uh, um, other clippers and liners. And this detailer, you know, after the hair is already prepped, hit pretty good. Um, I like how light they are and I like how I'm able to like move them around to how I really want. And you guys can see as we're making this lineup, you see now the size, both the right side and the left side. The, those dark, those light areas, they don't look so light because we're able to blend the dark side into the light area. And when you put enhancements on this, it just looks way more natural than us trying to leave the top a little lighter and uh, a little darker and leaving the sides way lighter. And this is just something I, I like I said, once you go keep going through here, because you're gonna figure out certain things that just work for clients and like certain things that just make sense. Um, that's how it is and that's how you guys have to think about it. just just try to be problem solvers that's exactly what we are problem solvers now we're going to go around the head and line up the back area with his because his hair is so curly and thick and because as you could tell he has a type of texture here that uh, grows back really fast i try to keep his hairline in the back as wide as possible just so when it starts growing back it doesn't look extremely crazy because i cut to into the back and um, bring the, the lineup in the back a little bit too close. And here we are on the right side and we're going to be doing the same thing. Try to keep the back as wide as possible but still make it look like he has a, a lineup.
the ears as you guys go around you guys see how I hold the ears and make sure I move around make it real comfortable and this is the end result you guys as you guys can see this taper is buttery smooth and it complements the shape of his head we made sure we enhanced the light areas of his lineup so his lineup looks really nice and even and yeah this client was really happy with his results I hope you guys enjoyed this fade on the faded room and it's T for fire the barber man I'll catch y'all on the next fade